Today, I'll talk about modeling of flow through a pipe. Here, fluid flows through a constant diameter cylindrical pipe as shown in the figure below. The turbulent flow assumes plug flow condition where each slide of the liquid flows as a unit. So, here the assumption is no radial gradients exist, but the axial gradient can occur. And both density and velocity varies along with axial direction, means here z direction. And uh, here we have to take two independent variables. So, one is time t, another is position z. Now, the total uh, continuity equation is applied to a small differential slice of the liquid located at arbitrary point z down the pipe with thickness dz and cross sectional area A. Now, first we have to write general mass balance equation. So, here rate of mass accumulation is equal to rate of mass input minus rate of mass output plus rate of mass generation minus rate of mass consumption. As there is a no chemical reaction happening here, so rate of mass generation is 0 and rate of mass consumption is 0. Rate of accumulation is equal to now rate of mass input minus rate of mass output. So, dm by dt is equal to m dot in minus m dot out, where rate of mass accumulation is dm dt and rate of mass input is m dot in and rate of mass output m dot out. Now, here as we took one segment, so that from this segment we have to do the continuity equation means we have to do mass balance. So, time rate of change of mass inside the system. So, that is do rho a dz by do t. So, here a dz is the volume of the system and rho is the density and the unit of this equation are kg per minute. Now, mass flowing into the system through the boundary at z. So, that is boundary at z. So, that will be v a and rho that is mass flow in. Mass flow out of the system at z plus del z. So, that is v a rho plus do by do z v a rho into d z. Now, this is actually coming from Taylor series expansion. Now, here that mass flow is v this side mass flow is that v a rho and here this boundary mass flow is v a rho plus do by do z v a rho into d z. Now, above expression for the flow at z plus d z can be uh, thought of as still a series expansion of the function f z around z. So, f of z plus d z is nothing but f z. So, this is the series expansion plus do f by do z into d z plus 1 by factorial 2 del square f by uh, del square z del, del z square into d z square plus dot 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 to infinity. Here d z is small. So, uh, we only take that these two term. So, this term we can truncate or negligible. Now, we got that rate of accumulation, mass in, mass flow in and mass flow out and we already know that total continuity equation. So, dm by dt is equal to m dot in minus m dot out. So, from here rate of accumulation will be dm dt is equal to dou by dou t rho a dz by rho a dz and then rate of mass input. So, that is m in. So, we got that rho v a rate of mass output m dot out is equal to rho v a plus dou by dou z rho v a d z. Now, if, if we plug all this value in this equation, so we will get this equation. So, dou by dou t rho a d z is equal to rho v a minus rho v a plus dou by dou z rho v a d z. So, from here this both will be cancel out. Now, here both side a a cancel out constant and now if I divide with z Okay, so z will be cancelled out and we will finally get uh, that do rho by do t plus do by do z in or do do z of rho v is equal to 0. So, this equation we will get uh, when we do that the mass balance. So, finally, general mass conservation principle we got or model equation for flow through pipe we got do rho by do t plus do of dou dot z of rho v is equal to 0, where rho is the density of the fluid, v is the velocity of the fluid, a is the cross sectional area of the pipe and z is equal to axial direction along the pipe and t is the time. 
So ultimately the model equation for flow through a pipe is this one dou rho by dou t plus dou 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 z of rho v is equal to 0. So that is the mass conservation principle. That's it. Thank you.